to another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. I thought what I might do today is um, something uh, that covers sort of everybody. So I'm going to try and speed solve the quick cryptic. Um, normally, it should only take three or four minutes to do that, assuming it's not a, a particularly hard example. And so people can see how fast an experienced solver can solve these, these crosswords. And then what I'll do is I'll then step through some of the clues and explain how I sort of zeroed in on the answer so quickly, assuming, of course, that is what happens. So without further ado, let's go. So I'm not going to really comment as I'm going through here. I'm just going to try and go quickly, and then we'll go back to it at the end. So there we go, uh, three thirty. So not 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 too slow. Um, got off to a terrible start, as you probably saw when I wanted to put actress in. I'll explain why in a sec. Let's just see if this is correct. Um, come on, computer. Yes. So not too bad. Um, so how would you do it at that speed? Well, it's all experience basically. There's nothing nothing clever about it. So. Start with eight across. Captive audience at first, say, turning on entertainer. Now, the way I read this was I looked at captive audience at first, and I assumed 
I would need the first letters of the word captive and the first letters of the word audience. And then, because I was sort of speed reading it, I looked at the words turning and on. And so I reversed the words, uh, or the letters CA, to give AC. And then I could think of a seven letter word that would be, I could think of two seven letter words that would be entertainers. I was thinking of the word acrobat and the word actress. And I was flummoxed for some seconds trying to work out how on earth either of the those would work with the rest of it. Now, in fact, the clue is um, is very clever and difficult. So let me explain. So a hostage is obviously a captive. Audience at first is the letter A, but it's this letter A here where the cursor is. Say turning is E-G. If you say if you use say to indicate an example of something, it could be an E-G. And we reverse E-G to give G-E. So the end of the clue is A-G-E. And this is all put on an, a word for an entertainer, and an entertainer is a host. So that was actually extremely hard. If that was in the main times crossword, that would also be extremely hard in that. There is no, although this is called the quick cryptic, I believe um, that's not referring to the standard of the clues per se. What it's indicating is you probably aren't going to find any um, really horrible words in this puzzle and it's also got far less clues than the main cryptic. So, yes, I say, there's nothing easy about eight across. Um, now the best solve, I think, that I did here was one down, which I got relatively quickly. Pleased husband put in a lot of petrol. So. I'm very familiar with the fact that the, the H can be an abbreviation for husband. So I was looking to put H into, and that my initial thought was a gallon, because a gallon would be seven letters, and I could put an H in, and maybe I could come up with another word that meant please. Now, of course, that doesn't work, so I had to think harder. And it didn't take too long to come up with tankful for a lot of petrol. Put H in thankful, you get thankful, which of course means pleased. What else? Um, I loved 14 across, that was my favourite clue. And you may have heard me chuckle even as I put that in. So your uncle's hairstyle, question mark. Now, this is um, a standard double definition, although it's hard to, hard to see. And of course, Bob is your uncle, uh, is a very famous phrase. Um, and a hairstyle is a Bob. So uh, a very nice clue and uh, one that I didn't get immediately. Which other clues should we talk about? Well, there's a few anagrams in here, as you would find in the main puzzle. So with anagrams, you're always looking to look, find words that indicate shuffling or composing or rearranging. So done composed a lot here at 10 across. You're just looking for a simple anagram, done. Similarly, at 12 across, 12 across fat cats in trouble. So the word trouble here is being used as an anagram indicator. You can see if you anagram the letters of fat cats mm. and in, you can come up with... Oh, I can't connect to your Wi-Fi network. Which of course means you great. can find setup instructions in the help section of your Alexa app. Um, 21 across, this wasn't an easy clue. Join at outside university, left little flower. Now again, it's a standard piece of crossword ease to read flower uh, as flower, and something that flows could be a river, and a little river might be a rivulet, which is the, the answer. So the little flower here is, is the definition of the clue, and then a joiner is a rivet, R-I-V-E-T, and that's going outside, U for university, and L for left here. No, not easy, not easy to spot. Um, what else can we talk about here? Let's just have a look at 11 across. There's another nice clue here. Lady without equal, but with large shed. Um, so here we need to be very careful how we read the clue. The, the definition is lady. So we need a seven letter word for a lady. Without equal, an eight letter word that would give us without equal is peerless. If you're without equal, you're peerless. But with large shed doesn't mean anything to do with your garden and a building in it. It means to shed, to dispose of, an abbreviation for the word large. So if we get rid of the L there, 
we get peeress, which of course means a lady. A beautiful clue, very misleading if you're not used to reading these puzzles or reading the clues carefully. And um, so I don't want to go through every clue here, but just a few of them, the ones I particularly noticed as I went through. I hope this was a useful run through and we'll do more of these. Um, I think it's going to be Sudoku again tomorrow for those of you who enjoy that sort of thing. Um, so thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you like the channel. And we'll see you again next time on Cracking the Cryptic.